Court is now in session. This is my sister walking into a courtroom, and as you can tell, she has absolutely no idea what's going on. But what is going on is that I'm suing her. But why? Well, the year was 2001, and my sister and I were playing the classic game where we'd run up and down the corridor and sing. As I got towards the end of the corridor, I suddenly felt a push in my back, and my face unfortunately met the wall. She, however, just said, that I tripped. Now, both of us throughout the years have contested what actually happened that day. Do you remember when you pushed me and knocked my front teeth out? Right. What, when you fell into the wall? She thinks she's innocent. I think she's a cold-hearted criminal. The only way to settle this dispute is to take it to court. But how do you take someone to court? Another day, another video in which I terrorised my sister. Now, I've already done a video in which I legally became my parents' favourite child, something that my sister refuses to accept. No, 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 no. So it shows she has absolutely no respect for the legal profession. Let's change that. I've done a little bit of digging. I found out some of the most famous sibling rivalries of all time. Number one, Cleopatra. I wouldn't say it's a rivalry because it said that she had had a hand in the deaths of her three siblings. <laughs> And then right underneath, we have the Jonas Brothers. This particular rivalry is more the Jonas Brothers than the Cleopatra vibes, but I'm sure Cleopatra's siblings had a trial before they died. I want to take my sister to court for knocking out my two front teeth. I was a lispy boy growing up, and she needs to pay for that. Uh, How to sue your sister. Taking siblings to court through court action. What to know? It turns out there's actually quite a lot to know, and so I spent the next hour figuring out exactly what I needed to do to take my sister to court. So it seems like I'll have to take civil court action. It's not cheap. They've really given a broad spectrum here, is between £35 to £10,000. I'm hoping it's more on the left-hand side of that range. But there was one thing in particular that I really wanted to know. Is there anything here that says that she needs to know that it's a court case, or can I just get her to turn up? Because I don't think she'll turn up otherwise, and then my £10,000 has gone down the drain. Whilst I assemble some lawyers, I need to get my sister to the courtroom without her knowing. Oh, God. I organised some lawyers for both myself and the defendant. The defendant would be my sister. Your sister? Yes, my sister. Right, okay. They would go away and gather all the information for the case to find out the truth. I want the truth! You can't handle the truth! My one job was to actually get my sister to the courtroom. You've got the date of the trial set, everything sorted. The only thing we don't have is my sister's availability. Hi, hey, Maxie. Hello. Hello. Hello, Max. Quick question, what are you doing on the 13th? Do you want to go for lunch? Uh, I'm having lunch with mum on the 13th. Why? Okay, don't worry, okay. don't worry. All right. This was not ideal. Uh, that's unhelpful. With the court date and lawyers set in stone, I only had one chance to settle the score. Let's speak to mum. So I had to make sure her lunch plans fell through. Hello, this is gonna be an odd request. Could you cancel that lunch with her? But more importantly, don't say why. But I need your help, it's for a video. Uh, okay, I can do that. That would be super helpful. I promise everything will become clear if you could just let her know, uh, that'd be okay. great. She might be a bit curious, but I will manage. With Mumsy coming in clutch for her favourite child, the plan just fell into place. I love it when the plan comes together. My sister just messaged me saying, Mum's cancelled if you're still around next week. I wonder why she cancelled. That's very good news. We've got ourselves a court case. Court is now in session. I'll be your defense in this. <laughs> Members of the jury, today's case is Fosh versus Fosh. Your duty today will be to determine whether the defendant is guilty or not guilty. Is the prosecution ready? We are, Your Honor. We call to the stand Max Fosh. Your Honor. Now, both of our lawyers had prepared arguments for this case. And I was the first in the dock. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? I do. Can you describe in detail what happened to you that fateful day? 
Yes, uh, and thank you for protecting me uh, in this case. It's nice to have protection uh, in court, but also protection online when you use Surfshark VPN. Surfshark is a VPN that protects you and your data against criminals, like my sister here. But how does it work? How does it protect you? One way Surfshark protects you is when you're out and about using public Wi-Fi. If you don't use the encryption services that Surfshark provide, hackers can get hold of your information, which we definitely do not want. Surfshark masks your IP address, making your browsing nice and private. And my friends over at Surfshark have a deal for the Fosh Pit. Three months for free and 83% off when you use the code MAXFOSH, which is super coincidental, as that's also my name. There's a 30-day money-back guarantee, which is pretty groovy, and all the links are in the description. That all good, Max? Yep, thanks very much. That sounds about right. Now, back to what happened in 2001. We were going to my grandmother's place, and my sister and I were in the corridor by the front door, and I think we were playing a game. Can't quite remember the rules of the game, but it was a corker. I very vividly remember having a force in my lower back. I was shoved into the wall, thus knocking out my two front teeth. My sister and I were the only two individuals who were in the corridor at this time. Therefore, unless it was a ghost, my sister pushed me and meant that I had a lisp for four years before my big teeth came in. The defence may now cross-examine the witness. Max, you claim that you were going to your grandmother's. How sure are you about that? Pretty, pretty sure. Pretty sure. Well, that is interesting, as we actually conducted a deposition on your father, who seemed to be the only one there. And he had something very different to say. My name is Matthew Fosh. The defendant is my daughter and the prosecution is my son. We have a family weekend away with some friends who live in uh, Hertfordshire, I think. Cambridgeshire, they were. Cambridgeshire, and they were larking around, having some fun. Uh, and then the, the Yelp went up. I don't think we suspected any wrongdoing at the time. It was just sort of somewhat later that the suggestion arose that there had been um, misadventure in the whole incident. Now, this information from my father put me on the back foot. I had been sure that we'd been off to Granny's, but a witness saying that we were going elsewhere? Well, that allowed the defence to really tighten the screws. Mm. Now, members of the jury, who are we believing? The information given by a 45-year-old man who was there? Or the imaginations of a four-year-old with a head injury? I don't think we can take anything the prosecution remembers as fact. Therefore, my client has zero culpability. The defense rests. Tally might have been looking smug, but it was now her turn in the hot seat. I call to the stand, Tally for Fosh. And the prosecution had some questions about my sister's history of hurting her cute little brother. Miss Fosh, you say that you have an amicable bull relationship with my client. We have, we have and had a good relationship, not anymore. To your knowledge, aside from this alleged push, have you ever knowingly hurt Max before? No. Are you sure? Yes, sorry, I'm just terrified I'm going to be found out about something. No, 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 I, I haven't, I haven't. I'd like to present to the court photographic evidence of a scar from an altercation you had with your brother, leaving him with a scratch. Would you care to elaborate on this? No. Your Honor, she's lying. What? A scratch? Was there or was there not an altercation between you and your brother in which you lashed out and scratched him for breaking something of yours? He broke a cigarette of mine, but this was completely unrelated. He was provoking me. So this was, this is, this is, this, <laughs> this is not the same. Do you either. deny scratching him in response to that incident? No, I don't deny it, but he was, he just so happened, I was sort of lashing around in anger and he just so happened to be in the space. It was about 10 years later. So there you have it. Both of us had holes in our argument. I couldn't remember everything from the day correctly and my sister has a history of hurting me. 
Our lawyers continued on giving arguments to the jury. Lispy boy. But eventually the judge asked the jury to go away and make a decision. Members of the jury, it is now up to you to determine the facts. They sidled out whilst Tally and I eyed each other up. Who was going to prevail? Would the jury be able to do the right thing and prove her guilt? After an anxious wait, we were about to find out. Have you reached a verdict? We have, Your Honor. What say you? We, the jury, find the defendant in the case Fosh versus Fosh not guilty of pushing him over in 2001 and knocking out his two front teeth. Thank you, Jory. Court is now adjourned. Shit, I had lost. But you know what? Seeing my sister so happy at her name being cleared was good enough for me. During the trial, we'd had a famous courtroom sketch artist draw us, and it felt like the perfect trophy for her victory. Oh my god, this is incredible. I look really nice. <laughs> As an apology for taking you to court, oh my god. you can have this to take home. That is amazing. <laughs> but remember, guys, you can always take your sister to court.